All right, I got my Husqvarna LGT2654 here, and I put a couple different belts on, drive belts, and they always seem good for the first five to 10 minutes, and they're slowly stretching out. And it's supposed to be 92 inches, but I think it's slightly smaller than that. We got the new, uh, they put a new part number on this thing. I'll put it on the screen here so you can see what it is. This thing is slightly smaller than a 92, so I'm hoping that it's gonna stay put and give me the power I need forever and not get stretched out so fast. Uh, so we're gonna tear this thing apart. First thing I'm gonna do is pull the deck off just to get it out of the way. I'm gonna put a jack in the front just to give me a little bit more room so I can see what's going on. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this. There's a uh, little bit of a piece in here that holds holds the belt in place on the, on the uh, deck belt, the deck pulley. And we need to pop this bolt off right here, which I'm using a 14 millimeter. And what that does is that just sits right in the clutch. Pull that piece up and Pull it through here, get it out of the way. And now what I did is I put that 14 millimeter socket on an extension using a quarter inch drive. And you need to get up inside this hole right here. So you're gonna have to turn the wheels. So if you had the wheels more straight or to the left, turn to the right and expose this hole right here. And up inside there is a bolt that holds another, uh, it's like another uh, bracket. It stops the belt from slipping off up on that drive belt. So go ahead and pull that bolt off. Okay, got that bolt out. Just gonna leave that up in, in place. It just needs to be loosened up so you can move that belt out of there. But you don't need to pull that thing down. It's probably better if you don't. It's really a pain, it really wants to just move everywhere. Uh, it really gets in the way. Now that I got that piece loosened up in there, um, maybe this could be done before all this, but the clutch wires, I've already ripped them once, had to put them back together, but this right here, you need to press those and this piece comes apart. And then there is a zip tie right here, cable tie, that you need to get rid of. Pop that loose, so then when that belt comes out, it'll slide over this cable. All right, I pulled the belt off of the drive pulley down to this gap here between the clutch and that pulley. Uh, give myself some slack here to play with. And then what actually happened is it slipped off this back one and you need to just try to finagle it over the top, over that fan that's attached, go up and over the top and then get this to release in the back. All right, that time it was not fun at all. Uh, I was really wedged in there, but I was able to get it up and over this side and put them both over here and then just pulled like a mother this way. And they came out. So here we are. Now, you wanna take note of where this thing is and it's on the left hand side as you're driving it of the steering column. So that'll be important to know for later for putting it back on. Now I just have to take uh, take it off this front piece. 
get enough slack, just pull it down off the clutch. Sure, you can pull the clutch off and maybe do this a little bit easier, but to me it's a little bit more work, a little bit more involved. Okay, the belt's off. Here's the number of the new belt. Okay, starting from square one, I want to take the belt and stick it on the left-hand side as you're sitting on it of the mower right on the left-hand side of the steering mechanism right here and stick it in there so she comes around the front and you want to pull it down around that stupid guard which is a real pain pull it down like that and go around the clutch. Feed it all the way around the top. Make sure that guard's not in the way. Go ahead and put it right on the pulley. Alright, so I got it up on the front here, the front pulley, and now I got it going around this side here of the steering, and I'm gonna stick it back up in here. Want to go up and over that that fan and get it on that pulley. All right. Then when you get it around the pulley, you got to make sure that each side of this belt is on the the inside of these little uh, rails here. Things that keep the belt from sliding off the side. Okay, then what you do is you want, this is looking towards the back now, take the belt and it needs to go on this side of this pulley. This one's uh, flat, which means that goes to the, the back of the belt goes on this pulley. So you want to stick it around this guide right here. I'm going to press that in a little bit too, where it's supposed to be um, holding that belt in place. Then you want to stick it inside this one. Same thing here, kind of press on that, hold it in place. And then inside of this guide, pop it up in there like that. Make sure it's like so. And now that's how it's supposed to look. Now when you release the brake, it should look like so. So as you pull it, push it in, that's how the movement should be. All right, I use my socket again, went up through this hole with my extension and tighten up that bolt that holds this this bar on here that's in the it runs along the front and the side both sides of this it's like a wire or a, like a bar just that one bolt holds it on i got that in place now we take this guy over on this side stick it through the hole here feed it back through Here you can see now how this bolt's supposed to go on there. Goes right in this slot right here. Holds that clutch from spinning. Just 
tighten her back up. I went ahead and plugged my clutch wires back in. I'll do that zip tie uh, later on. Let's throw the deck back on and we can give her a test. So I got the belt on and put the deck back on. Everything's back where it should be. Except for those side panels I still need to put on. But as you can see, we're moving good. Everything's looking up. Back to mowing. Thanks for watching.